Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 2 of Darwell20's Omni Factory series. Um, where today I found copper. Uh, knowing that copper was like the next resource tier to upgrade my furnace to, I kind of went out into the world to look for it. And I've been doing a lot of mining between episodes. See the durability on my diamond hammer? This is my second diamond hammer. One's already burned up. So I completely destroyed one diamond hammer and now I'm cooking up a second. And I just want you guys to see what the ore veins look like in this pack, right? Because you're gonna find veins like this. Like this is actually like a really huge ore vein, right? Like there is a ton of stuff around here, right? Like look how, look how big this is, right? It's shenanigans. Um, it's kind of hard to even really grasp how big the ore vein is. So, um, kind of as mentioned before, like, ore is plentiful in this pack, which is cool, right? Like, that's a that's a different approach to things, right? Just lots and lots of ore everywhere. Um, definitely different, right? So I've been kind of going out and about in the world looking for different ore types and finding lots of different things and different resources um you know i found some gold what i found is that like normal ore gen is still on Ooh, lava sweet don't mind if i do actually i probably don't need regular old seeds right oh well, that's a lot of lava yeah i'll have to be a little bit more careful there so yeah, like regular world gen seems to still be enabled. We've definitely hit like the lava Y level, right? Um, oh, hello. Hello, lots of lava. Uh, cause, so you'll, you'll occasionally find like a regular iron vein or a regular gold vein, right? Um, but then in addition, you'll find these giant veins of just like tons and tons of resources, right? And at this point, I'm clearly voiding lots and lots of cobble and whatnot. Because getting all this coal would be nice. Do, 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 do. So we're actually like deep underground at the moment. You can see I'm at like Y level 28. I kind of just um, branched out a little bit. See, like here's like a normal gold vein, I think. See, like it's just a single piece of gold. And that's fine. Same with this little iron vein right here, right? Like this is a standard iron vein, nothing special. Nothing special about it at all. It's not this like monster vein, like, you know. Yeah, that's what's up. And I don't need gray terracotta. I don't need basalt. And I don't need this cobblestone. Yeah, now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. So yeah, I'm, I'm like, I don't foresee myself mining a lot between episodes. Um, I mean, I'll mine a bit, obviously, to get resources, but getting resources, and I've also been 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 been, been uh, mapping them. So if we uh, if we take a look at our journey map, waypoints, see copper and pitch blend and quartz and oil sands and ruby and redstone and tin ore and iron ore. I found quite a few veins, kind of like the one that I'm in right now. Um, which is cool, right? I wouldn't mind finding something that looks like silver. That would be cool to me. Um, and the colors definitely mean something. I haven't perfectly matched which colors mean what, but they definitely have an, like I've noticed uranium tends to be greenish, right? So that's a, that's a thing. Um, redstone might actually be red. I found some redstone ore. See, look, redstone ore. Hooray! Sometimes it's a little long. Hey, cobaltite. I don't know what that is, but it sounds cool. Wow, look at this. Look at this room that I just stumbled upon. Is this in the pack? Oh, it is. Thank you. Thank you for existing. Because I really need more torches. Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> you can't make torches! I was excited and then immediately heartbroken. Excited and then immediately heartbroken. That's a big old rip. Ripperoni. So Garnierite Nickel. Well, that's cool. I don't know that I've found Nickel yet. Pentalonite? I don't know what that is. That will make 
nickel. Ah, so also nickel. So I guess I should mark this as nickel enabled off. That's what I've been doing. Nickel but enabled off. So like, you know, having a, having a little bit of a marker on where things are is cool. And what I'll do, I don't know what cobaltite does. That is cobalt ingots. There you go. Makes some pretty good sense, doesn't it? Almost a little bit of good sense. Ow. Yeah, we're going to want to watch out for bad guys. So I don't know that I need nickel just yet, so I'm going to hold off on that. I would have loved to have found silver while I was down here exploring. What white level am I at again? Like 12-ish? Not bad. Yeah. See, like, the orangey color is definitely, like, a coppery color. So, like, the colors make a whole lot of sense, actually. Um, still would have liked to have find silver, but I think, in the interest of being safe, I should make my way home. I think that's a smart move. So, like, yeah, so if I want to find copper, right, I can come down here and get copper. Cool. Down here was some kind of uranium-type stuff. So, like, see how it's all greenish? there so there's uranite and uranium 238 and pitch blend which also smelts into uranium so like different types of uranium type ores i don't think i'm too far from home and i might have food there or i might not we'll find out i totally fell down in a hole while i was on my way to somewhere still would love to find silver would just love to but I think it's too risky. But yeah, having the scanner is cool. Having the giant veins of ore is cool. Because it means we really have a lot we can do. Oh, I remember where I was. I hope it's not nighttime. I feel like it might be nighttime. This might be dangerous. We're, gonna, we're doing it live, folks. He says as he stops to pick up coal. All right, we have uh, not enough food to sprint. We just have to slowly make our way home, but luckily we are close enough. Hopefully we have food at home too. I got I got a little overzealous with my mining. I'm not gonna lie. A little overzealous with my mining. I was I was having a little bit of fun. I was uh, exploring the world gen that is in this pack and. Uh, I may have done a bad job. Let's come back once I put all my stuff away. All right, inventory organized. Uh, we could probably sleep through the night if we wanted to. That wouldn't be the end of the world. And then let's see what our situation is here. Um, so I'm smelting up some copper so that I can get a better furnace. I thought that would be a cool idea, right? We could upgrade our our furnace to copper. All we need is a copper furnace. And then as, as I mentioned, I noticed that the next one looks like it's, uh, I'm assuming that that's silver. Right, copper furnace upgrades to silver furnace. Yeah, that's what's up. In the interest of saving fuel, I will hold off on changing that out. So, uh, lots of ores, check this out, right? Found a healthy amount of stuff. Some stuff I have no idea what it is, like lipidolite. But I found redstone ore from Greg Tech, which can apparently smelt into redstone dust. So that's cool. Um, so there's there's the the Greg Tech version of the ores, and then some vanilla ores, like we found redstone dust downstairs, right? Um, oh, pork chops. I know I have more food. I knew it. I know I have more food. Hey, you, come with me if you're done working. Thanks, buddy. Now, none of these furnaces, to my knowledge, are any more or less efficient than the others. They just smelt things more quickly, right? So that'll smelt a little bit faster than this one will. Nice. So I think what I'm going to do now is upgrade you and potentially... Nice. Upgrade you. Sweet. Um, and you're doing a decent enough amount of coal that I can do something like this yeah like that so i'm gonna throw a bunch of iron in here and turn it into this wrought iron and we obviously still have some iron because i found another bunch of iron here and we've got some magnetite which is also iron 
Very interesting. Different types of resource gens. Fun times. I like it. Cool. So now I'm going to spend, um, well, let's take that book that we got and the crafting table, right? Because one of the things that was recommended before we jump into this is to do the work tables. Work tables are life. That's what I found um, based on recommendations that we should definitely be playing with work tables a little bit. So let me chop down a tree or two. I'm going to cut down this one. That should be fine for now. The eternal for now from Direwolf20. Patent pending. Right? So a work table should make making these things easier. Now I'm not... Is this mod in the pack? It's not. The one that lets you shift click. I'm also not sure if I can like place things next to you and you'll pull from the adjacent. I don't think so though. Okay, cool. So work tables should make our lives a little bit easier. So that's what we're going to want to focus on for a minute, right? Um, so let's try this out. So to, to complete the next quest, we need a, a hammer, right? So a wrought iron hammer. Can I just do this? Stainless steel ingots? That can't be right. I don't think it actually puts them in there. I think it fake puts them in there, right? So if I did that and then got some of this... What I do need to figure out is where all these mobs are so I can stop them from making noises. I don't like mobs and their sounds. Boom. All right, cool. So you remembered your wrought iron recipe. Nice. So maybe I'm going to want another work table. I think, I think being efficient with work tables is going to be a very important key here. Cool. Um, so that should be neat. All right, so that's nifty. Uh, we need a file, right? Um, so to make a file, we're gonna need two plates, right? So let's take our hammer and some of our wrought iron here. Wasn't that a thing? Wrought iron plate oh is this shaped it would appear to be cool okay so that right and then file but we'll do that right so now if i want to make this i do that if i want to make okay cool that that will be useful for us that will be useful for us okay so now the next thing we want to make is a saw, right? Um, which needs a saw blade, which is two plates, a hammer, and a file. Okay. So two plates, a hammer, and a file to get a saw blade. Look at all this stuff. Okay, wrought iron saw blade. Boom, now you know how to make that, and you can be used to make that. Cool. All right, so this table will be the using of tools. This table will be for making more of the same tools. I like that. I like that. That's nifty. Right? And then a wrench would be a hammer surrounded by things. So if I want a wrench, I could do that. Okay. And that completed that. And then for a screwdriver, it's going to be a couple rods with a hammer. Okay, cool. So I'm going to put you in there and you in there. So if I want the rods, it's the screwdriver with this, right? So I do that get a couple rods and then if I want the screwdriver it looks like that but what I said I was gonna do was make the tools in the left hand chest right what 
What am I missing here? That, that, wrought irons. Cool. So we make the tool, tools in the left one, we make the resources for the tools in the right one. All right, so that should make me a screwdriver now, one out of one. Um, wire cutter and mortar. Wire cutters are made with plates, screws, okay, cool, which is bolts, which is files, or saws, okay, cool, and rods, okay. Okay, I think I got this, right? So we're gonna want a couple rods, right? And then if we want a screw, we need to get bolts from the, from the saw, right? So you, you, that gets me bolts, which files and two of them like that. Nice. So there's your screw. Okay. So do we have any more rods? No. Two rods. And three plates. Cool. And then are we good? Nice! Except I was supposed to make that over on the left table, but eh, you know, close enough. Close enough. Now, can I clear that somehow? Oh, I can lock them like that. Well, that's nifty. I like that. That's super important. Okay, that's cool with me. Right, and now I just need the mortar. Which is literally just, is that, can I make that with cobble? Or any small stone? Accept any stone, accept any stone, accept any stone. So we'll wanna smelt up some smooth stone. You know, I really have, Bricks are stone, aren't they? So if I want a mortar, I should be able to do this. No? So they're not stone. Never mind. One could hope, right? It was worth a shot. What other uh, smelting operations should I do? Should definitely be throwing more magnetite at this, I think. So more iron would be good at this stage for sure. So I think ultimately I just need the five stone for the mortar, right? So one more and we'll be good. And that'll complete that quest, which will be nifty. There you go, boom. So lock that guy into place. I don't know what he's for, but hey, we completed a quest, starter cool. Cool starter tools. So the reason I was excited to get that is I want vein mining trees. Wrought iron axe head. Iron axe head. The wrought iron axe head is this. So if I wanted to make this guy, I would need two of these. And then this. And I'd like to lock him in. And now I can do this, I believe. Sweet. So we got that quest complete. That ain't bad. Yeah, I definitely like, I definitely like that. So now check this out. These axes, which are super cool, which means I can void this guy, right? Because I don't need him no more. These axes. <laughs> That's a thing. I will take it. Now I need a magnet. Now I need a magnet. But that's cool. That I like. That I very much like. Very, very nice. So you can keep doing your thing. All right, nice. All right, so next up, um, so we completed this quest, right? Oh, we're expanding. We are expanding and we've got some coins. So by the way, the coin store, 
Um, a pro tip that somebody told me, maybe the mob pack author, uh, was that you can do some cool stuff with the things in this store, right? Um, pretty fancy. Uh, a neat thing to do would be if you're looking for a specific type of ore and you haven't found it yet, once you get to the point where you can make the block scanner, because that is a scanner upgrade, right? So the scanner module block allows you to search for a specific block. And it doesn't look that hard to make. We just need some circuit boards and some wires, which might not be bad. But once we can make this, then if we're looking for something like silver, uh, I could buy a single block of silver out of the store. I don't know how much that would cost. Um, silver, silver, I don't know where silver comes from. Silver ore. 10 Omni coins, right? And we get 32 silver ore. So that's cool. And we could save that and we could use it to go find the silver that we need. So that's an option, right? Just saying. It's an option. Neat. All right, so let's see what's next. Uh, more materials. We need redstone. We need tin. I've had more than 12 coal in me. Yeah, for sure. Uh, tin, I know I found somewhere. Tin ore. There's a stack of it. Yeah, don't be afraid to smelt your ores in this pack. Remember how easy it is to get ores. Right? They aren't that hard to come by. Uh, what else do I need here? Redstone and gold. So redstone ore, yes. Gold ore, I'm pretty sure I've found more than three, haven't I? Yeah, we found Greg Tech versions of gold. Okay. I think that's enough smooth stone for now, don't you guys? Oh, and you know what I would love more of? Am I turning all my wood into coal right now? No, it's there. Beautiful. Nice. So tin ingots coming through for me. Gold ingots are coming through for me. Uh, and we should also cook up redstone at that. Right? And that cooks into six pieces per. So bearing in mind that we're probably not going to want to cook all 64 just yet. And again, we found redstone ores the same way and iron veins the same way we found that copper vein. Where there's just tons and tons of it in that one big spot. So like clearing that all out, I think avoid bag of some kind what's what's involved in making a bucket is this one of those buckets or hard packs not that hard does it have to be iron might be it might have to be iron um so what we can do is this Iron plate. Okay, I don't know why that didn't super work. Isn't that what I had a second ago? I don't know. I get confused at this point. All right, let's lock down this guy. I'm gonna borrow you and make ye old bucket. Sweet. And then you can go back here. I don't know that we need to make enough buckets that I wanna like save that as a pattern, right? But you get the idea. So there's a bunch of tin, there's a bunch of gold, and let's swap you out with redstone so that we can complete a quest. Cool? Should only take four operations of smelting to get the redstone we need? So mining will, will definitely not be a huge part of this pack, which is, which is cool by me. Like, you do have to mine, but seriously, did you see those veins? Ding ding! Yay, ding ding! All right. So that gives me more coins, which is fun times. And uh, so so from here, we need from dust to wire. Although most alloys require an alloy smelter, some alloys can be made simply by mixing the correct metal dust together. Copper dust mixed with redstone dust makes red alloy dust. Iron dust mixed with redstone makes conductive iron dust. Sweet. Smelt it into ingots, hammer it into plates, and cut them into wires. Cool. But how does one get copper dust? That is the old question. Uh, oh, oh, the mortar makes dust. Well, that's cool. The mortar is a handheld way to get dust. Well, that's what the mortar does. Okie dokie, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Um, the other thing that this chapter branched off for us is basic satchels, useful to carry more stuff. What more explanations do you need? Uh, yeah, no, definitely. What's involved in getting a satchel? Probably leather. Yeah, definitely leather. 
which um, I haven't found a good way to get yet. So out of curiosity, how hard is an atomic reconstructor going to be? Lead plates, aluminum casing, emitters. Oh my, lots of steps. Lots autoclave, huh? Mm. Ooh. Black quartz and aluminum plates, which don't seem too bad. Not terrible. Wow, that might be a lot of steps. <laughs> that might be a lot of steps. I don't even know. Oh my. Oh my. Lots of steps. But remember, I think the key here to keep in mind is resources are plentiful enough to make lots of things at once. So once we've got resources under control, like I would make just a stack of these in a go, right? Like I would be like, yo, give me a stack of this. And that doesn't look so bad, right? 10 alloy foils, 10 alloy plates, 10 alloy ingots. 10 and iron, okay, and an alloy smeltery. So yeah, this could be cool. As long as I can automate things, I'll be good. If I can automate some of this crafting stuff, I'll be happy, right? I'll be totally down if I can automate. Look at all the redstone we got though, by the way. That's super cool. All right, let me uh, do a little bit of looking into what's next. I'm thinking, I also want to see what this slimy rubber is about. Going out in search of a rubber tree is a viable option for sure. However, if this isn't appealing, you can also shear leaves and make plant balls out of them. How uh, plant balls smelt into slime and slime smelt into rubber. Oh, well, that's cool. You'll want to transition to rubber trees at some point, though, since the ratio of leaves to rubber is quite poor. Okay, so that's neat. So we could go get some shears with proper iron, I assume. Though it's also highly likely that I don't get proper shears from iron. Do we have proper iron somewhere? We do. I knew we had some. What quest was that? Element 50, tin. Sweet. I don't remember having a quest for tin just yet, but we did it by mistake. Alright, so what's involved in making shears? A file and a hammer. A file and a hammer. Oh, and two plates. Sweet. And that one I won't log either, obviously. But then we can take you... Can you tell my intention there was to vein mine? Of course I have it. If I enough packs of vein miner in it. And you, uh, or, or, or excavator, or whatever you want to call it. And uh, you get a little used to it. That is cool beans right there. I do love me some chopping down wood all at once. All right, so uh, this turns into plant matter. Is that what I saw? Yes. Plant balls, sweet. And that smelts into slime. And that turns into sticky resin. For the purposes of the quest, ooh, two slime balls too. That's actually a really nice way to get slime balls because those are otherwise annoying to get a lot of the time. But for the purposes of said quest, that's pretty spiffy. And then you should be able to smelt into that resin stuff that I need. Again, for the purposes of said quest. Cool, quest complete. Hooray! And this might get me started on some machinery, because machines is where things are going to get cool for me. And we might need to knock down some, some walls in this house, but we'll find out what we want to do. Like, I think knocking into that room should be a priority at some point, and just combining this house into one big open area where I can do lots of machining. Because I don't fully understand, obviously, all the different machines that we're going to need. Um, but I think it's pretty clear we're going to need a lot, right? Like, a lot. Um, but we did find, and I should sleep for the night, but we did find a uh, rubber tree, didn't we? Didn't we find one of those? So I think we're going to want to go get those leaves and figure out how they work. So a rubber tree is here, but I don't know exactly how it works. Right, this also is a rubber tree? Yeah. Yeah. So how do you work rubber trees? Um, 
That's the thing I'm not super sure about. Yeah. So let's check Greg Tech for some kind of tap. So sticky resin, those are things that exist. Rubber soft hammer, rubber wood, rubber tree saplings. So that can turn into that, that. Let me dig through here. They look like standard wood recipes to be fair, but I'm sure there's like some kind of processing mechanic to turn it into resin, right? Wouldn't you think so? All right, guys, so I figured it out. It's actually really easy. Uh, you chop the tree down. Uh, my brain just immediately said like, well, the Greg Tech way of getting rubber from these trees would be more complicated than just cutting it down, but no. So we looked out a little bit. All right, but we are unfortunately at the wrapping up point for the episode. So good quest progress today. Uh, good resource collection progress today. More to do next episode. So for now, Double 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll come back next time. And uh, I'm interested to see when we're gonna be able to get into uh, more by way of, uh, let's start with uh, some rubber tree saplings. Don't they look like Christmas trees though? It's pretty cool. Uh, hopefully we'll get into some cool stuff uh, pretty soon. For now, take it easy.